All right, all right, all right. So the NBA draft is officially over with, and Brandon Miller went number two to the Hornets. Trailblazers picked Scoot Henderson number three and have not traded Damian Lillard yet. And Victor Wembanyama, obviously, went number one. There was actually people that were like putting up $20,000 on, you know, the odds for him to go number one and winning like $20, like just for tw just for a nice $20 meal. But the decision of the Hornets picking Brandon Miller over Scoot Henderson was met by resounding boos within both. I heard the Hornets arena as well as I saw a video of like a bar nearby. So Scoot has been been well documented as the number two prospects for a long time now but obviously the you know the uh hornets have Lamelo ball who's also a point guard ball handler all that so they let him slip for brandon miller to be their new three of the future i would assume in this video i'll be simulating the careers of both of these two specifically keeping an eye on the two of them because well i tend to do these career sims for draft picks every year and i always end up leaving out one of the top three picks i already did a victor sim back when the lottery happened i'm like why not just combine both of them into one video we ball i downloaded a 2k scenario that had all of the the draft picks in or the draft trades pre-draft trades whatever all of them are in here i don't know why it says july as well we are in june why does it say july Did, is it always like that so both these guys you know both the rookies are going to very interesting interesting scenarios as well chris middleton signed with the rockets as one joins the scenario where the fans didn't even, even want him and the other in a situation where he's set to be a backup for the foreseeable future let's see how this goes and yeah i, I like i said i downloaded a scenario so some of this stuff might just glitch or be stupid or whatever what the hell okay does this say rpg at the top left oh no does it have some of those dumb settings on yeah there we go turn the garbage off so uh oh wait where, where is scoot is gonna be the seventh man because simons is also currently off the bench behind he's actually he is correctly a two they're starting shane and sharp over him i guess maybe i don't know for what reason and the hornets brandon miller is the starting three with gordon hayward now playing the four and also miles bridges did not get re-signed in this universe so that that's a possibility in real life that he actually plays eventually next season oh yeah i do have to mention too that in the rebuild which i did do for the wizards before they traded for jordan pool but in that rebuild for them i had drafted um Bilal and and that big body center that i'm assuming they didn't his name is a uh, vuksovic i drafted both of them to this team in my rebuild and they drafted both of them in real life so yeah i i guess you know a lot of people are saying this channel is becoming like simpsons but for the nba and i'll take the compliment i guess uh, i do not see any all-stars from the rookie class but the hornets are actually in the playoffs right now firmly seven seed although the west is looking way more competitive also the warriors are the number one seed with the addition of chris paul oh and injuries are on i forgot to mention that wow look at that warriors trade draymond green for edmund sumner from the nets that is interesting and jordan hawkins who the pelicans just drafted got traded for demar de rosen is how is that even possible don't tell me this guy has the the trade what's it called off well that's great the financial trade rules were off um we ball i don't know so when you when you download someone's share scenario me personally i just want to start from where they left it off but instead they give me all of their settings and everything a bunch of garbage like i do not care this guy's an idiot but hey, the trades are pretty funny though so we whatever as of right now at the all-star break scoot henderson who actually has a left leg stretch fracture right now and has had that since 33 games in i'm not sure how he started five games i guess it was at the two because dame has started every game in the season so far but he's averaging 16 points six assists and four rebounds which is pretty solid and brandon miller is averaging 24.7 rebounds and three assists in that hornets offense scoots about five percent more efficient from the field and somehow brandon was benched for two games who really cares though he's doing fantastic leading his team currently in points to a playoff berth maybe luca wins most volume Bible player rookie of the year victor unsurprisingly chris paul six man a year in golden state victor dpoy in his first season terrence davis most improved and quinn snyder coach of the year christopher bell hello brandon miller and victor both make the all nba second team in year number numero uno also you're gonna see some players because this draft class isn't actually the one that i always use that are over like amon thompson and, and asar because they're they're twins both look like keon johnson the guy who made this draft class i guess he decided that they look like Keon Johnson. I don't really, I don't agree, but I'm pretty sure this is, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is Keon, some, I don't know, from the Trailblazers, whatever. And Scoot made the all-rookie first team as the fourth person on the list with 16 and six a game. Pretty impressive, pretty solid. 57 games played isn't the greatest. He did get injured for a decent amount of time and he also didn't shoot too well, whereas Brandon is a way better shooter and also, well, and also played 76 games. The Hornets did not make the playoffs, they made the play in, so they got to be 
be over here somewhere. There you go. And uh, what's it called? The Trailblazers just didn't make anything. The Hornets did advance, and they are in game seven in the first round against the 76ers. The Sixers have everybody healthy. This isn't some sort of fluke run, although it could still end right here, right now. And it might not. Oh, uh, we're selling in these last few minutes. This is not a good look. Hold on. 105 to go. Sixers are up by three. Immediately, rookie year Brandon Miller can make an impact in this basketball association. Let's see. Big time moment in his young career. Down by three. Harden trying to cook. He's going to pass it down to Embiid. Guarded by Nick Richards. Back out to James Harden. All the way to the basket. Back out to DeAnthony Melton. And that is a green light three. A wide open three. Miller's going to get it. Bring it out off the inbound. Miller up the other way. Miller goes left to the basket against Melton. Miller back right to the basket. Miller at the basket. Where is he going? I don't know. He's got a layup. And he will get blocked by Embiid. And that was a bit of a rookie mistake, I guess. Harden to the... Oh, my. Harden back to Melton. Melton is going to send us home. That is it. Six point loss. Joel had 41. Brandon Miller had 28, 8, and 3. And the Hornets have been eliminated year one. The Lakers, led by AD, will go to the finals against Embiid. And the Sixers blow a 2 0 lead. LeBron James, finals MVP for his fifth. Chris Paul, the most esteemed six man of the year, retired. The next year's draft lottery. Skip to the results. Jesus Christ. The, Pel the, the Milwaukee Bucks were that trash without Chris Middleton. And it's not surprising that Brooklyn was that trash. That is their, you know, after getting rid of what's his name, KD and Kyrie and yeah, basketball. I do know for a fact that this Wizards pick should still be the Wizards own pick because it would be protected. I don't think the Clippers protected their picks though. So yeah, th this one should go back to Washington. Sorry for just hating. But the Thunder tend to get way too overpowered on these. And also the Blazers, um, yeah, they lost their pick to Chicago. I don't know if they deserve that pick or not. I'm not sure. See, that Portland pick is lottery protected until 2028. Eight. So that's where 2K needs to fix that up, which means that the Blazers should indeed have this pick. And they drafted Isaiah Collier. Guess what? Another point guard with the fifth overall pick in the draft. Bronny James falls to the Kings. LaMelo Ball re-signs with the Hornets. So that's still, you know what I'm saying? I get that skepticism out of here. He'll be there for a long time with Brandon Miller. And Jalen Brown signed with the Raptors. Damian Lillard drops to a 91, while Scoot Henderson only goes up to an 81. But hey, it is what it is. Brandon Miller, 84 overall. They got DeAnthony Melton, who smoked them out of the playoffs last year that's kind of crazy oh my god julius randall all-star starter brandon miller is an all-star and so is rj barrett the hornets and the blazers are actually at the same seed right now both the fifth seed brandon miller averaging 28 points per game eight rebounds 48 percent from the field and scoot henderson 16 points per game six assists pretty solid in 53 games four started he actually made dame go to the bench four times luka Doncic mvp yet again elliot Cadeau rookie of the year scoot henderson wins six man of the year chris paul had to hand him the award you know what i'm saying here you go man victor wins dpoi davion mitchell most improved player jason kidd coach of the year luca torn mcl the mr mvp himself I might turn down the uh, injury tendency honestly also brandon miller is on the all nba second team again oh wow the uh, blazers fell out of the playoffs they're in the play in and the hornets only went up they went up to four playing denver in the final playing game let's see they lost the first one they had to go to a second one and they are about to smoke the uh you know once upon a time champions is looking like yeah they got got them out of here simon's 32 points scoot is actually a little bit injured but almost had a triple double and they are the eight seed against dallas who actually has the injured luca right now not playing just Kyrie, click capella at the four and sengun whereas the uh, hornets are playing the pistons the mellow ball brandon miller against no cade cunningham injured cade cunningham wow i did turn down the injury frequency a few minutes ago so yeah we might actually get both of them advanced out of the first round the Hornets just advanced themselves and the Blazers advanced past the, the Mavericks the injured Mavericks second round Blazers up 2-0 3-0 and 3-1 okay they just blew the entire lead my god wow the Blazers have blown a 3-0 lead to the Thunder no significant injuries or anything Shaden Sharps right there healthy Damian Lillard Scoot Henderson and Anthony Anthony Simons and they blow a 3-0 lead to Shea and company Shea Chet Holmgren and so on and so forth they also have Bozellis and uh the Hornets were just up as well they might be blowing the lead as well to the Cavaliers, ironically. And they're going to do the exact same thing. I don't know if it was as, it wasn't close to as bad, right? You could tell me. You saw the screen the same way that I did. Brandon Miller, 27 on 10 for 20. And DeAnthony Melton, 2 for 12. He, he's, he's doing it. Oh, my God. LaMelo Ball, 1 for 8. Nick Smith Jr., 3 for 14. Didn't even know we had him. Did they draft him today? I don't even know, honestly. Jalen Green and Darius Garland, finals or conference MVPs. And Jalen Green, finals MVP. LeBron has retired. 22 years pro, 40. 
40 years old. He is out of here. And Derrick Rose is out of here. Warriors get Trey Johnson with the number one pick. Uh, I don't think any, any of our guys had any interesting. Um, Dylan Harper and Paul McNeil go to the Blazers and Hornets. Giannis Antetokounmpo signs with the Nets. I mean, the, the, the Bucks did have the first pick a few years ago or whatever. So, hey, close to why not? Oh, and Julius Randle. I just saw a sign with the Heat. All-star starter Julius Randle. Brandon Miller's an 89 and Scoot Henderson's an 86. He probably will start over Dame this season, if I had to guess. It might just happen. Higher potential. Only three overalls lower. In real life, hell no. I don't think they'll ever bench Dame as long as they, you know, don't have to. There it is. Scoot starting Dame to the bench. Six-man Dame on the way. Also, they have Marvin Bagley at the four. And uh, yeah, here, here's, the, here's the Hornets. Scoot finally with the keys to his team like Brandon has had for years already. Neither Brandon Miller or Scoot made the all-star team this year as far as I could see. I always say that because I really don't know if I can read all them players within 3.5 seconds. Also, Scoot is on the untouchables list with Dame. I just randomly stumbled across that. Scoot is averaging 21 and 9 this season with the keys to the offense. Dame only started over him two times. And Brandon Miller was actually injured, at least it seems as if so, with tw for 23 games. But he's averaging 30 points and so is LaMelo. My God. Victor wins MVP 25 and 12 again game he's all right Bronny james six man of the year in sacramento victor also wins dpoi oh i'm actually very surprised greg hasn't retired yet Lamelo makes the first team brandon miller the second team and scoot the third team beautiful beautiful they are the third and fourth season in their respective conferences we already went over their stats let's let's see what happens oh that's good the hornets smoked and the, the blazers come back down two three uh they couldn't do it brandon miller six for 15 in game six overall they played great but they lost him and Lamelo played great they need some help though they got our old man demar Derozan on the bench and the lakers smoked isaiah collier led the team in scoring in game seven scoot only had 12 on four for 10 shooting with five turnovers and dame only had 12 on four for 13 shooting but they beat anthony davis and cam reddish and jalen hood shafino second round oh god Bronny is about to smoke him in, in six Bronny james 29 points off the bench scoot henderson had 42 in the loss and uh oh my god john morant versus uh darius garland they you go Darius Garland finals MVP because he's insane in this game Drew Holiday fractured leg retires and John Wall's out of here Jovan Ruff to the Hornets Tyron Stokes and BJ Davis to the Blazers Damian Lillard accepts his 60 million dollar player option Steph Curry resigns with the Warriors on a one-year 45 million dollar deal and Jimmy Butler goes to the Pistons also Mikael Bridges joins Victor in um in San Antonio and Shaden Sharp signs a pretty solid deal to stay in Portland Brandon Miller is a 92 and they also signed DeAndre Aiden for their center. Finally, it's someone to help them kind of a little bit. Barely, but good enough. And the Blazers, Dame goes on to an 86 and Scoots up to a 91. Scoots usually this good in this in these simulations. And I think Brandon Miller is actually overachieving, but it's because he's been playing so well ever since year one. Also, Collier is an 86. Him and Dame off the bench is uh, pretty wild. I don't know where the hell Anthony Simons went. I'll just check right now. Screw it. Anthony Simon, Simons just left in free agency to the Sacramento Kings, who we lost to in the playoffs. So I found out recently that this dude, AJ DeBonster, becomes a duplicate in multiple draft classes. So I was going to remove him, right? And put in a 40 overall player. Tell me how I go over here, go to the new face scans, and oh, someone made real Duke Dennis. All right, dog. Luka Doncic wins most valuable player. Koa Pete, rookie of the year. Collier, six man of the year. Victor, DPOY. Oh, yeah, Collier, that, that's our six man. 22 points per game off the bench with eight assists. Murray Parks, coach of the year, executive of the year. Leo Bosch, my God. They're just picking people out of the world. Uh, Scoot Henderson all nba second team and brandon miller did not make a team at all this year it's looking like the blazers are the number one seed and the, the hornets are fifth blazers won 59 games which is the most in the league actually scoot averaged 27 points also damian lillard still around i think he started a game at the two or i don't know i don't know what they did because he started one game and scoot played all 82 thankfully he had a little injury in the first season but uh yeah 27 per game from him 10 assists five rebounds 51 percent from the field and 37 from three he was shooting pretty bad in year one him and him and brandon almost averaged the exact same points per game brandon 26.8 27 basically nine rebounds four assists 54 percent from the field but brandon only played 50 
four games he had an injury at some point get a pinched nerve in the back at least at one point i don't know if he had anything else either also chris murray is still on a two-way contract and he's 26 my god oh here's some trades for this season jamal murray and aaron gordon got traded for andrew wiggins and terrence mann brooke lopez for andre drummond first rounded first rounded are the portland trailblazers the best record in the league while the hornets make it out of the first round the blazers with a fully healthy team looking like lost to the utah jazz led by nasir cunningham rookie year nasir oh no second year nasir cunningham and colin sexton chris middleton keontae george either da davion mitchell yeah they lose year or, or number one seed hornets versus knicks round two hornets advance another round and round three against the pacers the charlotte hornets are going to the finals Lamelo ball and brandon miller will actually play against the eight seeded utah jazz they will both play against the same team him and scoot but who will prevail look at this team colin sexton taylor hendricks basala nasir and keontae george a very young team just finessing their way through the playoffs i i actually have to look at what the hell they're averaging yeah it's pretty well rounded they are just efficient and good all right well this ended up a little bit crazy and i thought game one we are down by one with with 123 to go in the game i say crazy and i thought because what the hell is a 135 135 regulation game also he, he just right happens to be shooting three free throws right now up by two Bagayoka pass it in and nasir nasir versus brandon miller two top rated small forwards in separate draft classes cunningham dribbles left does a little move back to the left back to the right what the hell post up play going absolutely nowhere and he misses the layup miller's got it back up the other way number 24 he's gonna pass it down and away to Bagayoka. an awful pass awful entry pass up to nasir nasir pulls up for three and that gives them the lead down by one 50 seconds to go lamello ball guarded by sexton the screen on the left by aiden lamello and aiden running it up oh, there goes nick smith pulling up into the play lamello still isoing he was like a 95 overall best player on the team currently and he's gonna get the foul sexton draws his fifth or not draws his fifth because they said the person draws a foul who gets foul whatever lamello ball getting mvp chance to the line greens it lamello hits both nasir cunningham going left the spin move nasir the spin again he's really getting deep in the bag right now the pascal siakam bag nasir gets uh he, he does pick up his dribble back out to keontae george i could tell just from his pump fake he has a malik beasley jump shot i don't know why i think he does at least and the steal by aiden and the steal back to bagayoka what the hell just uh, pause the play rewind hold on tell the players to chill out for a second aiden steals it and immediately they drop it and give it back to basala basala hands it off to sexton for game one of the finals right here right now 10 seconds to go Colin's jumper is awful in 2k so if they let him oh no they're about to give it down to uh, nasir again nasir in the post guarded by brandon nasir fades away at the buzzer and it is all a one point win by a charlotte hornets a huge miss by nasir cunningham and we are taking a 1-0 lead brandon miller one step closer to a championship jesus they smoked us in game two brandon miller had 35 but he was the only person to show up lamello shot 20 free throws and three for 13 on actual shots a win a three-point win i know it seems like i could have jumped in but it wasn't really they never even took the lead in the fourth i don't think brandon miller 28 9 and 7 and we go up 2-1 hey, shout out to all the people i'm feeling real reminiscent right now so you know it's another nba draft as well i'm thinking about all the drafts that i've possibly uh made videos on as a uh, oh they take a they take a two-point lead let me know what was the first video you ever saw from this channel you know i don't know i actually don't know if i ever asked that it sounds a little bit too conceited but i might have oh they got davion mitchell garden lamello he is like an all defensive type of guy but he's also short so um 2k advantage might kick in right now let's see lamello ball right at the paint and yep like i said davion mitchell the screen on the left by bagayoka pass down nasir cunningham cunningham fades away immediately the great defense though by number 52 which isn't brandon miller i don't know who that is and lamello's going back at the basket the other way beautiful pass down to aiden that's definitely that's like a good display of like 2k pass iq because usually i feel like that pass i know they're always looking for cutters and stuff but he wasn't really that open before lamello actually launched the pass and he was oh, oh my god taylor and horton tucker i didn't even know he was on this team but he got cooked on the backdoor screen or not backdoor but like the little you know floppy whatever the hell that's called i don't know i don't know too much pass out brandon miller wide open in the corner he is gonna miss his shot but look at aiden swimming around the rookie for the rebound or whatever year basala's in but he is a young player himself aiden already probably two max contracts in at this point because 
Yeah. And the pass over to the corner. Basala is going to take another awful shot for the horn, for the uh, for the Jazz. And Lamelo is going to get double team. That's probably not the best idea with him. Oh, they foul. That was a good foul because he could have made one more pass, and DeAndre was wide open in the paint. Number fifty-two. Oh, oh, that's Christian Coloco. I did not know he had upside like this to still be in the league. I, I've just heard his name a few times. I don't know how the hell he plays. Pretty sure he's on the Raptors, right? Or my tweaking? I don't know. Pass down. Nasir Cunningham in the post again, and he'll take a fadeaway looking shot. That's off rebound by Aiden. And that will be it. As long as Taylor can hit a free throw or two, we have won this game. We're up 3-1. Honestly, it might be over with. I'm going to just click simulate. 4-1. That is it. LaMelo Ball, finals MVP, 26-6-10. And, and in his, what is this? What year is this? Brandon Miller had 30-17-5 in game five. And in his fourth year, last year of his rookie contract, that man is an NBA champion. He's already averaging 27 per game on his career. And it's looking like he might be one of the best scorers ever in this simulation. I actually, I know that, um, speaking of that, actually, I'll, I'll talk about this as the next season starts up and everything but i do actually like his game a lot as jimmy butler tore his acl and retired at 37 which isn't that you know you know too much of a spring chicken regardless it's funny because i don't think i'd ever wow mike boonholz with 30 years in the league i don't think i'd ever say spring chicken a day in my life but you know i gotta come up with new things to say in these videos giraffe lottery the nets get the first pick from philadelphia is that from the ben simmons harden trade and they also have the fifth pick from phoenix so yeah that things aren't going too well in the sun's land but you know i actually genuinely do like brandon miller's game i know i, I heard that he had some bad Bad, uh, performances in the March Madness and everything. Why did I go into the draft? Oh, wow. The first pick got traded for Anthony Davis and Quentin Grimes. Rudy Gobert was also traded with the... That is crazy. I didn't even want to jump into... Did I forget to add the draft class? Because who the hell is Latrell Almond? Oh, no. This is correct. Okay. All right, then. He better be He better be good, then. Is, is he got any good comparisons or anything? Jesus. He was the 17th ranked player? What the hell were they thinking? They traded Anthony Davis for the 17th ranked player, dog. They literally pulled Anthony Bennett V2. Also, Scoot and Brandon should both be free agents right Right now there he is brandon miller and scoot henderson brandon's already got five offers and his best offer being from the clippers and nothing from the hornets let me make, let me make sure obviously i should have this all on auto but yeah i do so the you know what i'm saying so the hornets can make their offers but let's see is he really about to get uh whatever lured away from his team oh my god the 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 hornets did not offer brandon miller an extension he is going to los angeles and scoot henderson is leaving the blazers for poor for, for uh, the Raptors, along with Jalen Brown, who was already there. I don't know how to explain this, but I don't do the explaining. Ask Ronnie or whoever runs Mike Wang, um, that other dude, uh, Mike, uh, the one that's always at the top of the coaching staff in 2K. I forgot it. My, Mike Stra Stroff, whatever the hell. How did I forget his name? He's always there. Stauffer. So after winning a championship, I, I wish, you know, I wish for the better than this, but uh, we're going to the Clippers and Raptors still um, separated by conference. Also, this bastard with his, what's it called? Relationships and score and what? Oh, I don't care about any of this stuff. Luka Doncic signed with the Bulls. Shea went to the Lakers. Victor, the, so wait, did the Lakers just trade for the first pick, right? So they probably saved a lot of money from trading Anthony Davis. And Victor also, I don't know how, what's happening right now. Were they not restricted? Can I find like, a, is there any rookies still out here? Um, That's Keegan Murray, not Chris Murray. Oh, Eamon Thompson. He's un restricted they they also to be fair though this is like day 10 they could have just uh got rid of the rights for his what's it called his uh his contract and i'm also not sure why he's an 82 but all right i mean he might just be an 82 overall type of guy but you know I, I can't predict that but yeah i'm seeing a lot of unrestricted um players i don't know what's going on matter of fact let me run the footage back because if they were unrestricted i might actually just give them back to their teams all right so um i found out that they were actually it was broken they had no restrictions which meant that they could have went anywhere but lamello ball who you know could has free will actually left and steph curry in his last season maybe maybe the last two seasons i don't know something like that has replaced him on a one-year 40 million dollar deal and for the trailblazers they're, they're the same I, I just brought scoot back Lamelo ball actually went and took luca's spot on the mavericks alongside Kyrie and laurie markinen and i also put victor back on the spurs and yes all of these people were already on the spurs dj wagner mikhail bridges sangoon they had all these guys already also this is like a league update uh porzingis is still in ball Austin alongside Brandon Ingram and Jason Tatum. Luca just liked the Chicago win. There's really nobody here to be excited to be teammates with. And yeah, that's really it, actually. Scoot is now a 95 overall, and Dame is down to an 83, making 74 million over the next two years. And Brandon Miller is also a 94, one overall lower than Scoot. And Steph goes down to an 87. They should still be competitive, obviously. I mean, but they did lose the, the finals MVP for whatever reason. Scoot Henderson and Brandon Miller is an all-star starter. Scoot's off the bench. And Nasir Cunningham's also here as a starter for the first time 37 wins for the hornets they are top of the conference even without Lamelo ball and the blazers are in the playing game the spurs are the top of the conference with victor luka wins most valuable player jamal mcknight rookie of the year isaiah collier six men also i gotta see who how that 
Lakers rookie did. He might have not even played. Victor broke his ankle and will be out for the next four to six weeks. Brandon Miller made the first team, averaging 24? How did the stats go down? You, you lost your star player. I, I guess Steph took all of his shots or something. I don't know. Scoot Henderson makes the second team. He's playing great. I mean, they both are, but yeah. And Latrell Almond, who was the first overall pick, 8.6 rebounds on 44% as a seven-footer. Yeah, that's that was a miss. Hornets and Bla Blazers are in the playing game. Hornets are the fifth seed, but they also won 50 games, I think. And the Blazers just lost twice in the play-in to not make the playoffs. That's impressive. Also, oh my God, Jokic and Jovic, their teammates, they both dropped 20 plus points in this game. That's that screenshotable right there. I had to take a screenshot. Jokic and Jovic. Also, Jokic is wearing nine because Melo retired his 15. Sorry, buddy. And he just got traded there from Brooklyn. That's interesting. All right, first round against the Knicks. And wow, the Hornets just got swept. Was somebody injured? What happened? Nothing happened. Oh my God, Nick Smith is really cooked. I just saw him all the way at the bottom. He broke his wrist, but honestly, that's not an excuse to get swept. I'm sorry. And yeah, I really, oh, they got DeJounte Murray on the team too. I didn't even realize this. I mean, the Hornets were good, but not good enough, I guess. Brandon shot under 50%, which I feel like he probably averages. Yeah, he averages 50% from the field. So under a lower percentage, but still good stats and uh, two steals and two blocks and lost in the first round. Also, Steph Curry, nine points on 31% shooting. That's the real fraud sellout right here. So from champions to first round exits and Tyrese Halliburton and Jabari Smith are the conference champions and Tyrese is the finals MVP. 50 wins to first round exits. KD has retired because he wanted to, you know, leave this abandoned state of Detroit. My mom the other day was uh was looking at flights and she was like oh this one has a layover in detroit you've never been to detroit and i was like thank god i mean is there anything appealing change the time the offense is given to advance the ball to 10 seconds john morant's gonna have a field day with this there you go the nuggets got the second overall pick from orlando finesse also the trailblazers have the 14th pick in the draft real uh you know you could draft yourself a donovan mitchell or something or uh a michael porter jr and they got Corey. also did steph retire i did not see if oh steph did retire okay so that's 40 million for the hornets right now i mean i don't know if it actually makes any oh no yeah no they have 30 million in cap room and they haven't signed anybody the trailblazers re-signed kyle and uh, ben simmons signed with the grizzlies for a bag I, I don't really know what else is going on here well uh the horn is just curry -less, and that's about it i mean he was the reason they lost in the first round he had an awful uh, sending out series and dame is down to a 78 overall making 39 million so they're about to get a bag off of him probably leaving or retiring or something after this year Let's see if the hornets actually utilize theirs next year unless they signed somebody that i didn't notice to an overpaid contract brandon miller your 2000 and whatever the hell mo oh, 29 most valuable player 27 10 and 4 i did not expect him to win mvp but he got it he's back up to his better stats than last year jalen mitchell rookie of the year mikey williams six man Giannis wins dpoy marcus johnson most improved lewis morgan coach of the year luis or something Bra uh, brandon all nba first team and no scoot henderson scoot made the all defensive second team the stats had a pretty decent jump a, a decent drop in points but it's all good just uh do some in the playoffs if you actually made it there you go he did Hornets were the best team in the league at 59 wins post Steph Curry and LaMelo to be fair first round the Blazers got 4-0 swept out of here Scoot had 24 in the last game he averaged 65 percent from the field I mean a little bit less points but still and I didn't even realize they traded for De'Aaron Fox who did they trade I mean I saw no Lillard it had to be Dame somewhere in there right oh my it was just a first round pick in Dame Hornets make any interesting trades this year not a trade in hell second round against washington and they just blew a 3-1 lead to um dj wagner and franz wagner and cole anthony and vj miller josh primo zubats whitehead i saw that whitehead got drafted by the nets and they already gave him number seven which was kd's number and nasir cunningham is gonna lead his team to a championship 92 overall brandon miller blows a 3-1 lead in his mvp season oh damian load of the kings has retired his streak was broken right before he left and i'm kind of mad i don't know if uh De'Aaron Fox could be a free agent. Um, he's not. Okay. He's got one more year left. And so does Scoot, to be fair. I was listening to a Paul George and Julius Randle's podcast episode. And they're talking about eliminating the goaltending rule. That would be insane in the NBA. It wouldn't even be fair. Also, they're trying to abolish the salary cap. Honestly, they, you know, I've been declining most of these rules, but you know, 27 people, that's a lot. I'm just one person. If I was to say no, that would be four people saying no. And that wouldn't be a lot of people. I know I'm just trying to um, lie my way into wanting to accept this. Screw it. I'll accept it. Honestly, this league, it is crazy. 
as possible. That's the reason why I leave, leave the rule changes out. I've been doing these for a lot of years and I like seeing some variety. Also, uh, any, of these, any, any of you steal any draft picks? Well, the Raptors suck after we, I think, took Scoot away from him because he shouldn't have signed there in the first place. And yeah, I had went through all the rookies that year, a lot of them, and seen that I think Cameron Whitmore had signed with the Rockets regardless. Oh, didn't mean to go to the draft again. Let's see if there's a there what's called a first trade pick again, or first pick trade. Uh, we're five picks in and no trades. Boring. That's actually, so the draft was obviously, um, you know, just, just concluded. And the draft was pretty boring this year. Not much happened. They get the new Bilal. They had traded pick seven and eight, the Wizards and whoever the hell, the um, Jazz, no, not the Jazz, the Pacers. And there was like another 10 to 12 trade. And that was really it. And there was like a Rashawn Holmes trade. A lot of boring stuff. I think Rashawn Holmes was the only real NBA player traded the whole night. Also, Shaden Sharp declined his team or his player option. You might've seen that for you didn't see his open sesame now. Yeah, so Jason Tatum has 17 offers and for for some reason, teams don't realize that they can. Okay, maybe the luxury tax is still kicking. Wow, the Celtics signed Cade Cunningham alongside Jason Tatum. Ian Jackson left his one year in New York for Washington. The, are, are like restricted free agents just off for this entire video? Because like, I don't get it. Why is it that I load a share scenario and now everything's broken? Now I see Cunningham thankfully still with the Jazz. And uh, I don't think any of our guys were free agents, but there probably was a lot of other movement. I don't see any Hornets or Trail. Oh, there goes Shaden Sharp resigning. So it's just 96 overall school. Collier, Sharp, and Fox is still here, probably off the bench with Collier. I don't even know what's going on over there. I might change up the positions a little bit. Also, I don't even know who the Hornets started point guard. But Brandon Miller's a 95. Brandon Miller is the all star captain this year, and Scoot is not an all star. Do you see him? I don't. Scoot has a broken leg. That is why. Okay. He has had a broken leg since when? Since 31 games in the season. We are now currently at uh, 54 games in the season. To be fair, there's not many more, you know, individual achievements than when an MVP, which Brandon already did, but they are also under 500 right now and not in the playoff race. DJ Wagner wins most viable player. King Bacot, rookie of the year. Bryson Tucker, six man of the year. Victor DPOY, Isaiah Harwell, most improved. Will Hardy, coach of the year. Isn't Will Hardy the Jazz? Brandon Miller, all NBA first team and nothing for Scoot. And the Hornets just barely made the sixth seed. It doesn't even look like the Trailblazers are in the, oh, they're in the play in. Uh, will they make it out? Yeah, they actually did. They beat the odds. Playing against Utah in the first round, and the Hornets got smoked in the first round, and so did the Blazers. Scoot played pretty well. Brandon, uh, oh, Brandon fractured his right hand after one game. That is why they probably lost. They also won, uh, I mean, they won one game. Oh, yep, their one win was the first game, and then he got injured. And the finals MVP is Cameron Boozer, who I believe is also on the same team as Koa Pete and Ronnie? Bryce, Bryce James. Kyrie Irving retired. Julius Randle retired. But more importantly, Dylan Brooks retired. If I'm not mistaken, Steak and I, yeah, they they are both free or no no. Scoot is a free agent this year. Brandon probably I would assume has one year left on his deal. Yeah, so Scoot has free reign, could go wherever he wants, and he is not getting any good deals, even though salary cap is off. Let's see, he still has not got a deal. 18 offers and no contract. 21 offers and no contract. Luca is also here with no contract. What the turning off salary cap ruined the league? I'm about to turn it back on. How how is Scoot Henderson not got a contract? Still nothing. Um, this is not good. And the last day of free agency and he did not sign anywhere at all he's on strike like saquon barkley brandon miller and scoot henderson together on the all-star starters this year thankfully for the both of them and wait i just realized i have no clue where scoot signed i know i had to simulate a little bit for it to actually happen but uh where scoot henderson is a cavalier what kind of contract is he on a oh oh wow he actually got a nice four-year deal i don't know why it took so long but and the cavaliers i just saw from the corner of my eye are the top seed in the eastern conference they're in the same conference now Marcus Johnson, most viable player. I have no clue who that is. Victor DPOI and Ime Udoka, coach of the... What the hell? This is not Ime Udoka. That's more, a little more than DJ Augustine and Ime Udoka. Udoka blah, blah, blah. Brandon Miller, first team, and Scoot Henderson, no team. Didn't make a defensive one, though, I just saw. Cleveland is the second seed, and the Hornets are in the play-in. They do have 40 wins, and they did make it out first round. They are playing each other, and it is 3-1 Cavaliers, 3-2 Cavaliers, 3-3? Okay. They are both healthy, and then again, Game seven, their first ever playoff matchup. Cavaliers are smoking them currently, but actually the, the Hornets came back and take the lead. Two minutes left, two point game. Here we go, the pass into Brandon Miller. Brandon at the top of the key, guarded by, is that Mitchell Robinson guarding him? The layup is off. Oh snap, I just realized I am controlling the team. What the hell? I walked away for a second. <laughs> that is probably the first time I've ever made the mistake. I wasted like eight seconds of their shot clock. Uh, the pass, oh snap, Mitchell Robinson. Oh my God, who just died? Get up. Get the hell up. Ow. Do something. Have we ever seen an injury? He got a three-second violation. Who the hell is that? 
what? Have we ever seen an injury mid-game in these? I swear to God, I don't think we've ever... Who was that? Number 12 on the uh, Hornets? That was Quentin Grimes? Oh, now I'm sad. Oh, yeah, it is him. What the hell? Can we, can we get a replay on this? He's actually ironically guarding Mitchell Robinson. He's close up on him. And then Mitchell pushes him for the box out. He lands and then dies. Oh, I mean, that's that's a okay, I guess. Maybe we're in the... Are we in the... Yeah, we're they're in the bonus. So, uh, I mean, it's, they're both we at this point. I'm Both teams I'm rooting for. But the Cavs are in the bonus. So, I guess a one free throw instead of two is better than anything, I guess, with Quentin Graham sitting on the floor. Buzelli's has the ball. Scoot Henderson is in the corner or the opposite wing or whatever. Darius Garland's got he's gonna get the screen by bull 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 just subbed in but i was too focused on oh my god what a miss by bull bull i was too focused on the injury brandon mills miller's got it going up the other way guarded by garland and that should be an easy bucket and it is three-point lead buzelli's up the other way to the three-point line he's gonna not hand it off to anybody at the screen from robinson buzelli's the fadeaway mid-range is off rebound by mitchell mitchell back out scoot for three and that is good by scoot henderson the save possession by mitchell robinson mikey williams passed out to nick smith jr and he's in the paint. He gets blocked by Robinson. Zubats back up with it. That is good. Buzelli's pass it down. Mitchell Robinson coming up clutch on both ends of the floor. I mean, they couldn't stop him last time, but he's doing a lot right now. 29 seconds left. Mikey Williams, the screen by Jalen Williams, actually. And Brandon Miller's getting open on the left side. and said it's going to go over to Nick Smith for three, and that is off. Rebound by the Cavaliers. Buzelli's gets it with 17 seconds to go. Scoot Henderson's got it. 13 seconds to go. Will he take the last shot? We shall see. Winner go home. Game seven, the screen by Bo Bowl, bowl. Scoot pass it over to Bowl. Bowl will give it to Buzelli's in the corner. He will take a contested three, and that is off. Overtime inbound. 135 to go. Cavaliers just cut it down to a two point game. They're actually down by seven. Miller goes to the basket and he throws the ball away right to Mataz. Buzelli's all the way up the other way behind the back. Takes the tough layup over the smaller defender, and that is good. 29 points for him on great shooting. Uh, Brandon Miller back up the other way, and he will go all the way and get fouled. I, I was hoping for a contact poster dunk right there. Oh, Brandon Miller misses the second one rebound by robinson pass up to scoot scoot over to bowl 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 running the break he'll pull up and miss rebound by the hornets awful shot by bowl bowl jalen williams all the way oh my he wow that was awful that was really bad he probably could hit the layup but instead try to pass it out with his non bailout existing mataz with a one point deficit he'll get the screen go right fade away from three that is way off rebound by bowl 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 back out to scoot scoot over to mataz again he is clearly the leader of the team despite school being a 96 overall but he might have been here for longer than scoots and scoot just got here and oh my god and we have the uh cool 2k looking uh angle with that yeah wow that is that is incredible look at that layup by mataz buzelli's there it is again my god goes through the defense brandon miller pulls up fade away mid-range to take the lead right back garland's got it sorry i'm yawning darius garland's gonna pass it down again mitchell robinson with another bucket passing to mikey williams will this ball make its way to brandon or are they gonna be stupid they might just be stupid that's what it's looking like down by one nine seconds ago the screen is gonna come from Jalen williams mikey and Jalen running it mikey's got it top of the key two seconds to go oh my mikey williams shoots it and he bricks it they ran a good play but with not enough time to run the play because brandon was about to get open right to his left and scooter henderson 41 points and 10 assists to brandon's 23 11 and 9 and the charlotte horns have been eliminated by the cavaliers cavaliers up 2-1 on the in the second round over the wizards they will go to the conference finals and against the celtics who i did say had a pretty stacked team i think they had Cade cunningham jason tatum probably still Chris stops oh it's 3-1 and 4-1 they have a loss Cade Cunningham finals conference finals MVP and yeah they still got Robert Williams Jason Tatum Cade Cunningham and they lose 4-3 to Marcus Johnson and the Rockets Marcus Smart retired I guess we do a little checkup on a uh, what's his name's draft team the Trailblazers oh they, they made the playoffs this year they're still doing fine without uh without Scoot speaking of that Brandon Miller should be a free agent this year wouldn't be the worst thought to maybe leave but it depends on where you're leaving too Brandon Miller has left for the Hawks uh, just a couple states it's over whatever geography that is one state i don't know i mean you gotta at least go through south carolina i don't remember i don't remember how the states the map goes of the united states we ball one time though me and my friends we did this this quiz it was hell on a on the um sporkle website where you had to name all the states without any borders it's like the most popular quiz on there it is hell i actually definitely contemplated uploading it to one of my other 17 channels a while back so the atlanta hawks a new destination for brandon miller after he lost Lamella ball and all of his what's it called progress was taken away and uh 
they're all right. They're solid. They're not really actually. No, they're actually pretty bad. See, so yeah, Brennan's now starting alongside. Oh my God, Stephen Curry Jr. He played with his father. Now he's playing with second round pick Stephen Curry Jr. Who has a comb over. Zachary, I saw Noel, Precious, and Josh Christopher. I think I saw Jed Howard on the bench too. And the Cavs, they're the Cavs. Darius Garland's on the bench, by the way, which is insane. I mean, there's not really much else to do. The Sala wins MVP. Scoot Henderson makes the third team and Brandon Miller did not make a team this year. And they actually both made the playoffs, surprisingly, because of how trash the Hawks were. Scoot averaged 22 and nine. Brandon, 23 and eight rebounds. Both of them pretty healthy. And they're playing yet again in the first round, as I think I might've already said. Stephen Curry Jr., 72 overall, is gonna pl be playing against a backcourt of Scoot Henderson and Darius Garland off the bench and Mataz. I just realized, yeah, Mataz could easily be playing the three and what's his name could be playing the two, I guess. I don't know, but screw it. Also, I don't know how the hell the Hawks got Chet Holmgren. Was he a free? Oh, they traded. What the hell did you trade for Chet? Also, Bryce Tillman. The Atlanta Hawks traded a top three protected pick in Marty Rodman to the Pistons for Chet Holmgren. Marty Rodman is a 76 overall 23 year old that is incredible what are these trades first round will it be a, a sweep oh my god almost a sweep in favor of the hawks cavaliers are out of here brandon miller averaged 25 and 10 and 5 and scoot henderson kind of underperformed 17 and 10 still but eh, could have done better second round hawks are gonna get out of there as well and they lose in the third round to the wizards swept by the wizards as well nothing too uh you know competitive there and the wizards won the ring dj wagner finals mvp d'angelo russell retired mitchell robinson and retired decrease the shot clock no um worst four teams will have identical odds screw it sure buzelli's is a free agent for the Cavs, and they're gonna re-sign him scoot garland and buzelli's holding down there going to year number 10 both of them collectively and also like I, I i just realized that i'm uploading this video after the wizards had traded the chris paul and you know jordan pool thing and i don't know what the hell the warriors are thinking i don't know what they're doing right now um i did have one friend say that maybe uh bob meyer stepped down because he knew this was inevitable and he didn't want it to stain his legacy which is pretty funny but i don't know why in hell they would just throw away jordan Poole. i know he's making a lot of money i know he was inefficient had a mediocre season compared to the season prior but it's a bit odd to throw him away for Chris Paul, who now they're like reports that they want to, you know, flip him for more assets when I don't know how the hell they're going to do that because who the hell wants to trade their assets for Chris Paul? It has to be a bad team. One of the possible scenarios I could see this maybe is me calling some is uh, the Clippers have shown interest in Chris Paul. I could see them throwing like a few of their big body contracts like Norman Powell or uh, they have Norman Powell, Nicholas Batum, Marcus Morris, and I think um, Robert Covington as well. And I could see them throwing those away, but only if they were to trade Paul George and give up because I really don't see why else they would trade multiple people for Chris Paul. And the Wizards came out great with that because why not get something, you know, a big body contract you don't got to worry about anyways because, well, you know, Jordan Poole might underperform sometimes, but you guys weren't going to pay anybody else over the next four years anyways. And at least not Bradley Beal's super max. And at least the guy who might actually get a little bit better. Cam Boozlewin's most viable player. Steve Kerr, coach of the year, speaking of the Warriors. Isaiah Collier, former Scoot teammate, makes the second team. And Scoot did not make a team. Neither did Brandon Miller, though. The Hornets are the first seed and the, the Hawks Hawks and Cavs both made it, but the Hornets, how have they moved on from losing Brandon? They have Alonzo Ball leading the team. He is the best player on the team with Bryce Tillman, Mikey Williams, Cassell. They, I mean, they have they have a lot of 80s. My God, they just, just called all of them up. Could still see deep runs for either one of these teams. Let's see. Uh, first round up, Cavs are out of here and Hawks are out of here. Never mind. Neither one was injured. They're just per, pure garbage. And the Warriors, led by Cameron Mercer, win the championship. Davion Mitchell retired because of a dislocated left patella. And Jeremiah Robinson Earls out of here. Masala MVP. Helmut Schumacher. Cavs made the playoffs and Brandon's team did not. The Hawks did not make the playoffs at all, which is really weird. He, oh wait, did it? Wait. Oh no, he's a seven seed. I mean, that's not terrible. He was in the playing game and he got smoked. Cavaliers advanced to the conference finals against the Pacers. They're down 3-1 and lost. Good still ringless. It was in the Christian Dennis, the finals, the conference finals MVP, who is also going to go to the NBA finals. Trenton Flowers, finals MVP. Markel Fultz retired. Oh snap, Scoot left his team. What are we going to do? Oh, he hasn't signed with any team. That's that's promising. Good Henderson is a Memphis Grizzly, the new John Morant. Victor is the Clippers MVP. You want to get to 
to Los Angeles. Benjamin Nelson, coach of the year. Scoot, third team. Grizzlies eliminating the playing game. Hawks eliminating the playing game. That's that's nice. That's good. And Trey Johnson. Nope. Cameron Mercer, finals MVP. Donovan Mitchell's out of here. In case you're wondering, Brandon Miller has barely been injured whatsoever in years. And I just checked and neither is Scoot. Also, I just realized Scoot isn't the new Ja Morant. He is with Ja Morant. Thought Ja was gone by the fact that they signed him. Brandon Miller re-signs another three-year deal with the Hawks. And Scoot actually goes back to the Trailblazers. He only signed a one year with Memphis. I didn't even check that. Victor, MVP. Scoot made the second team back in his home home of uh, Portland, I guess. Average his most points that he has averaged since he was there in 2027. We are in 2036 now. And I don't see Brandon Miller on no all NBA teams. And the Trailblazers didn't make the playoffs either. And the Hawks got eliminated in the first round. Pacers 4-0 and win the championship. Also at this point, just a little update. They are now in year 13 and 32 and 31 years old Nas Reed retired elite backup slash sometimes starting when someone's injured center Brandon Miller and Scoot have both regressed down one overall it might be that time Victor MVP yet again both of them missed the playoffs unless they're in the playing game there you go and lost in the playing game as well and the Pacers yet again champions led by an 86 overall by the way who we have two players better than them that we're watching in this simulation Tari Easton retired the Hawks had the eighth and ninth picks and drafted some mid so did the so did the what's called blazers brandon goes down by two overall scoots the same but they're both very clearly getting old koa pete most valuable oh by the way i know i was saying that i used a uh a different draft class because of the what's called chair that i in imported but i actually imported the players from the normal draft class i used for for uh victor and brandon and scoot because I didn't want to use different ones. So yeah. Also, they both just got smoked with an, yet again the play in in first round. Mataz and Zachary, those are actually two form that Mataz was a teammate of Scoot and Zachary was a teammate of uh, of Brandon on the Hawks and the Pistons won the ring led by Mataz, I'm pretty sure. Jovic retired. Scoot, 91 overall. Brandon Miller, also 91 overall. You forgot my drink. My diet, Dr. Kelp. Atlanta is the sixth seed this year. Also, I saw that Bronny James won the most viable player award, and he's actually on the Warriors, so it's kind of like a get back for when, you know, uh, the one guy with the uh, Curry last name. Atlanta's in the playoffs, and they just got smoked five in a, in a five-game series. Brandon Miller averaged 29 points, which is over 10 points higher. He's definitely a playoff riser, but he's also a first on exit Bronny and Mataz Buzelis and Elton Morrison I, I think he that's his second finals MVP? I don't know Lamelo Ball has retired with the Magic and with that one championship one finals MVP he will make the Hall of Fame alongside Anthony Edwards I hope um you know something that people haven't been talking about a lot and I know obviously he's, he's had some healthy times but um obviously Lonzo has been very injured but I feel like Lamelo being injured hasn't been talked about enough like Lamelo spent a decent amount of time I want to say the past two years injured and that's why me personally if you thought scoot was the best player available and you were charlotte i would have taken him because first of all i don't see how him and lamello couldn't work together i feel like they could figure out regardless plus he's another guard that's not short but shorter than lamello so he could just play the two like how terry rosier has been for years although he's not the best shooter off the ball like terry is also scoot just signed with the timberwolves he leaves the portland team for the team right next to him not well, I guess, no, nah, not geographically, no. So as Brandon Miller goes on to an 89 and Scoot Dunk goes on to a 90, Scoot has joined, joined, the, like of, joined the likes of Tim Weaver and uh, Mitch Evans and Ulf Eklund, Herbert Tatum, Carter Knox, Stanley Simmons. God, we are in a league. Koa Pete wins MVP. And Tim Wolves got smoked in round one. They actually almost came back down 3-0. Isaiah Elohim wins finals MVP. Carter Bryant retired. Oh my God, Billy Donovan. Oh my, who was that? Never mind, that's not Billy Donovan. Who the hell is is that Brandon Miller 87 school 87 that's crazy these guys I mean I know this is the thing I don't remember if I said this but I really don't remember I'm sorry if I'm saying this again but because I've recorded this in like three separate sessions now but the reason why I decided to do these two together is because first and foremost it is pretty cool they are going to be compared for most of their careers I would assume at least for a little while they're going to hear it like once twice a year or something but or especially year one I remember like when the Knicks would play players and they were supposed to pick this player I'd hear it the whole year my god but in 2020 I had made simulations on James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball never made an Edwards one in 2021 I think I made Cade and 
Jalen Green, but never Mobley. And in 2022, I think I did. Uh, oh yeah, I probably did Paolo and um and Shed Holmgren and didn't do Jabari Smith. I guess the one biggest one to regret out of those is probably uh, Anthony Edwards. But to be fair, the hype wasn't that crazy back then. And I was way more picky with what videos I was putting up. But the hype really wasn't that crazy. The Warriors picking a player top three in general was crazy hyped up because of the, the expect the you know who the Warriors were at the time and still are. Christian Dennis, most valuable player, and the Clippers won the ring led by Victor. I think this is his first ring ever. What's crazy is he wasn't even the Western Conference MVP. I didn't even know he was on the team. That is his first ever championship. It took almost 20 years and Scoot and Brandon are both alive, I guess. They're around. Cade's so old, he has a sore right knee for a season's duration. So he decided to call it quits. Scoot is an 85 and so is Brandon. They are very old. Cooper Zachary, most valuable player and Kean Anthony, six man of the year. Neither one of them made the playoffs at all. Cooper Zachary and Victor in the finals and cooper zachary smokes victor who the hell is this i don't know he is a 2028 draftee and that is it brandon miller has retired scoot did not just yet but that is it they didn't get the hell up and out of here and uh brandon over his career average matter of fact we know he's gonna make the hall of fame screw it just show me real quick hall of fame inductee brandon miller in 1444 games he averaged 22 points per game eight rebounds four assists one steal one block one mvp 11 all-star appearances one championship four all nba first team three second team zero third team two four combined defensive teams and obviously the rookie first team once and scoot henderson on the other hand has averaged 21 points five rebounds eight assists 52 percent from the field 41 percent from three at 16 triple doubles 477 double doubles he's had 12 all-star appearances which for some reason are not connected they're like all separately listed out three second team all nba three third team all nba eight first team all defense four second team all defense and one six man of the year award as well as a 48 point career high 12 threes made 14 rebounds 19 assists eight steals and five blocks at point guard and miller's career high was 59 points 11 threes made 18 rebounds 12 assists six steals and seven blocks and for nba record as delani pusley tied michael jordan with 63 playoff points but that aside brandon miller is ninth all time in points with 32,279, just under 20 points short of the man who actually drafted him michael jordan and obviously this is what this is with injuries on and everything although he did play way more than michael jordan did so pretty legitimate whatever uh yeah and then scoot henderson 16th all-time in points with 30,379 brandon miller is 12th all-time in threes and scoot is 28th scoot is ninth all-time in assists and miller actually did grab a decent amount of rebounds when i saw yeah there he is 38th above dirk Nowitzki. and yeah that, that's basically it that is the career of brandon miller and scoot henderson it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun shout out to cameron whitmore and i'll catch you in the next one and uh let me know who you think will be better in real life obviously uh